Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back, welcome for the first time. And if you're here for the first time, allow me to say hello. My name is Laura Burns. I talk about clothes, I talk about yoga, I talk about body liberation stuff, and I would like to extend to you my most heart heartfelt jazz hands. <laughs> welcome. Um, and if you're returning, welcome back. I'm really excited that you're here. I'm excited to dig into today's trunk. This is the trunk for January. 2021 y'all it's 2021 <laughs> I've written the date like three times now and I got it right every time which is kind of amazing because usually uh, I always write the wrong date but anyway here we are we're here to talk about trunk club and get into the clothes try everything on hear my first impressions and see how everything is fitting before we do let me jump into what I'm wearing because everybody always asks no matter, even if I'm wearing just like the dumbest outfit ever. Um, so this is a glamorous caftan <laughs> from Universal Standard. And um, I'm wearing it super oversized. What size is this? I don't think that you can even still get this. But let me tell you the size just in case it's helpful. Oh my god. This is a 3XL, which is like the um, size 34. I think. Um, so it's very oversized, it's very loose and comfy, and I love it. Anyway, so um, so that's that. And what is Trunk Club? If you are new to the whole Trunk Club thing, let me just tell you a little bit about it. It is a clothing subscription service where they have sizes from probably like zero <laughs> all the way up to uh, 28 is the largest they offer, so which is a 4X and the uh, 26, 28, or 4X is the size that I usually get for most things. And um, a stylist curates a box for you. You get a preview where you can say, yes, send this, don't send that, don't send that, yes, send this. And the preview is something that is kind of unique to the Trunk Club system because like Stitch Fix, Dia, like they don't do those things. And that preview and the ability to say, don't send this, don't send this, whatever, and then have them replace it with new items is like, I think one of the best things about Trunk Club um, because you have a little bit of control over the process, which you do not have um, with the other companies. And so I really appreciate that. I, um, in the patrons Facebook group, so if you become a patron, then you get access to the Facebook group. I uh, go live there and I share my screen whenever I get a, um, a trunk preview. And so we go together and we look and see what they put in and you get to see like my <laughs> like immediate reaction, which lately has been kind of like, oh, <laughs> I never know how it's gonna be. Um, this time I forgot to do it, sorry, oh my God. I forgot to do it because I was too excited. I got my preview and then afterwards I was like, oh no, I didn't go live. So um, I messed up this month. But uh, here we are. You're going to get to see everything now. Sorry, patrons. Um, I was uh, a moment of excitement, and it was during the holidays. Anyway, um, and so this time, when I looked at the preview, it was pretty good. There were a few things that I had them not send, but overall, it was actually like a pretty good preview. Um, and so I was pleased with that. <laughs> I was happy to see. Um, so you're going to notice, if you've been watching these videos, you're going to notice two things that we've seen before. And um, that's interesting. And I'll talk about that when we get there. Because sometimes in my feedback after the fact, I say, you know, for whatever reason, I didn't keep this this time. Maybe because, like, I bought something else instead or I didn't couldn't afford it this month or whatever. But I'd love to see this again. And so sometimes you get those things again and sometimes you don't. So, um I did get those things again this time. Anyway, so we're gonna dive in. I've been chit-chatting uh, a lot. <laughs> but um, I just wanna say, like, it's January. Can you stop right now and comment how your January is going? <laughs> I would love to hear how your 2021 has kicked off, like, how you're feeling, how life feels. You know, it's not like the new year erased the pandemic or, you know, it totally, like, fixed everything, but um, there's something about a fresh start, and um, I feel a little more excited, a little more energized, even though pandemic is still raging. Houston is bananas right now with it. Um, I don't know. I would just love to hear. Check, check in time. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I feel pretty, um, pretty good. 
and uh, excited about things that are happening uh, in life. So, I mean, that's good, huh? Okay, so I'm going to get started. I've got tops, I've got dresses, and then I have accessories. So I'm gonna start with the tops because you know I like to save the dresses for last because they're my favorites. And uh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> I picked this to start with because it's probably gonna be like the worst thing in the box. Um, I don't know if I chose it. So after you do your preview, um, they take you to a screen where you can choose like some add-ons. So there's like jewelry and handbags and scarves and um, sometimes even like beauty products and stuff. I think maybe I chose this. <laughs> I don't know, or maybe they chose it. I don't know. I don't like it is what I have to say. First, let me say good things about it. I'm a little picky about the leopard print that I like. And I like this leopard print. The tones of it, the look of it, I like it. Um, I actually really enjoy that it's like a little crop shirt moment for me. Um, the sleeves are a good length for me. The arms fit really well. They're not too tight, they're not too big. Um, I think that's about all that I like about it. And let me tell you why. This is from a brand called Onesie. It is a one size fits all top. What? So, I mean, it's on my body. It technically fits on my body. First of all, I hate anything that's called a one size fits all because nothing can fit everyone. Um, if you're very skinny, this is gonna be like a dress. <laughs> and if you're me, then it's a crop top. And if you're bigger than me, it's not gonna get on your body. And so maybe have like, you know, one size fits like, a range of sizes like 0 to 10, 12 to 20, 22 to 32. I don't know, man. But um, it's annoying to me when they say one size fits all because I feel like you're like leaving people out. This barely fits me. And like some would argue does not fit me. Um, I happen to like crop tops, so I'm fine with it. The only part that truly like does not fit is the neck. I mean, it's on, but it's like it's on it's like on on me it's not tight it's just like on my neck and I don't like it anyway I don't want to spend too much time on this top it's cute the materials weird it doesn't fit great I don't like one size fits all things if I put this in the, the trunk I don't know what I was thinking maybe I was like oh we'll see that's probably that sounds like me that sounds like something I would do is be like oh one size fits all let's see that's probably what happened here. Anyway, I don't know, whatever. It's fine, it's a shirt, I'm not gonna keep it. it doesn't fit great, the material's a little synthetic-y. Um, but I do, I do love a crop top. I actually like the way that <laughs> this looks, like in the tiny viewfinder of me that I can see, like I'm like, mm, like I feel cute. I have no idea when I edit this, I will be able to see if I like it for real or not. But anyway, let's move on. Let's not spend any more time on this weirdo one size fits all top, okay. Um, the rest of the trunk I'm actually like very excited to put on. So here we go. Okay, so here's the next item. This is from Leith, L-E-I-T-H, like Keith, but with an L, size 4X, and I really like it. It is a beautiful color. It's like a rust milk chocolate color. It's not a true rust. It's not a true milk chocolate. It's a combination of the two, and I love it. I love this color. I love like an ochre, a rust, like an olive green. Beautiful earth tones. Now listen, does it go with this lipstick? Does it go with this bra? No. <laughs> but I love it. I really like this on my skin tone. Um, it's very soft. I appreciate how soft it is. It's a sweater knit. So you can see some texture there. Um, but it's very thin, which is good for me because Houston. Um, let's see. I like how the sleeves are like, they taper in at the cuff. They kind of balloon out here. Like this is going to fit your arms. I don't know what size your arms are. It's going to fit your arms. This thing is so stretchy, so soft. Um, let's see. So we've got a faux wrap here and um, this would be accommodating for many chest sizes, although it's gonna open, so you're definitely gonna wanna wear <laughs> something under here, but I could see like 
you could dress this up with like a black lace like you know those bras that they make that like they make them to show right here I love that trend um, or like a camisole or something you could dress it up you could dress it down um, let's see here's from the side so it's fitting right uh, at the top of my hips and look how stretchy this is and I'm like I'm not pulling hard I'm barely pulling it's actually really really stretchy um, I like this I would size down I think I would like this better as like a tighter fitting to the body um, maybe even more cropped so this is the 4x I think I would get this in a 3x maybe even a 2x because I've only been wearing this for like three <laughs> three minutes maybe and I feel like it's already stretched out a little bit um, and so that makes me worry about like the longevity all day what kind of shape is this gonna end up it's just so stretchy that I don't know like how well it's gonna keep its shape so I would maybe size down a lot but that's great news for folks who are larger than me looking at this if you think it's cute and you are maybe like one size up for me or even two sizes up like this might work for you it's so stretchy I'm not pulling hard this is not and this is not like as much as it could stretch and I think it really would like actually give over time and not a long time anyway does that make sense so just an option if you're larger than me but you think this is cute I don't think that you would technically be sized out because of how generous this is and how the um, how it stretches so oh this is cute do I need this oh if it were like smaller it almost reminds me of like those um, ballet wrap sweaters that I used to wear when I was in um, dance a long time ago which are so cute and I love them it kind of has that vibe and then if it's fitting tighter to the body and like shorter <gasps> ooh, okay so I might need to get this and then like for yoga is what I'm thinking like kind of a ballet inspired <laughs> yoga outfit um I wouldn't get the size just for like how I would want to wear it but anyway um, I like this very much. I would recommend this. It's really soft. It's really comfortable. It's thin, but it's warm. Um, I think this color is beautiful. I don't know if it comes in any colors or anything, but um, all the links for everything will always be in the description box. So you can click on that, check it out if you're interested in it. So, okay. I'm going to move on, but I kind of don't want to because I really am feeling the sweater, but there's a lot of fun things coming up. Okay. Here's the next item. This is from Caslon. It's in a size 4X. It's very, very cute. Um, it has some cons. Let me start with what I like. I love, in fact, all of this is embroidered and it's on the sleeve as well. And then it has like inset lace here and little pom poms around the, what is that? Sleeve. <laughs> the sleeve um, it has embroidery up here like a blanket stitch that goes around plus the little pom-poms are here you can't really I don't know I'm touching it here can you see it I don't know it's also at the hem so it's very cute it feels like it looks like linen it feels like a uh, cotton I mean it feels like 100% cotton Maybe you could dye it. No, but you would you would mess up the embroidery. Anyway, so here's the con. It's white. <laughs> the con is that it's white, and I am like a two-year-old when it comes to how much food ends up on my clothing. Y'all, I don't I I don't know why I can't eat without something falling on me. Um, but this worries me. It's so cute. But then the other con is just that I don't know that for me I have good ways to style this. If you have jeans, if you are a person who wears jeans, you got it. It's gonna look great. Wear it with some jeans, wear it with some jean shorts, it'll be good. For me, I don't I don't know. This is not a top that I would normally wear, like this kind of style, so I'm not really sure how I would style it and if it would be practical. And then I'm gonna do a sit test because it's not a stretchy material. And um, I know that there are lots of folks like me who are one size, when they're standing and then a whole other size once they sit down. So we're gonna invite our friend to the chair here. So I will say it goes around my hips and my butt, 
which is the biggest part. Um, but let's see if it becomes like a sausage casing when I sit. So it definitely like fills out, you can see it fills out the extra, but it's not like so tight. I don't feel like I'm going to rip a seam. Sometimes when I sit down to things, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to rip a seam. But this actually is fine. Um, it takes up the space, but it doesn't feel <laughs> like that. I don't feel like I'm going to like make those um, popping stitch noises. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, it's, it's not uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, so that's a win. That's for, a win for me. It's a non-stretch and it feels this comfortable. So it passed the sit test. Huzzah. Uh, oh, here's from the side and the back. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's from Castellon. This is a size 4X and... It's very cute, it's very cute, I like it, but y'all know how I am with the white clothes. But I let them send it to me because it looks so cute in the picture. And I'm glad I did because I like it so much. Okay, uh, moving on. <laughs> Look at these little cute tears. Okay, <laughs> here is the next item. This is from BP, which is Nordstrom's um, like, trendy, young skewing brand. Uh, it's in a size 4X, and to be honest, I didn't think that this would look cute on me, but I was super wrong, and it looks, in my opinion, very cute. So let me tell you why. Um, it's a drop waist dress, and drop waist dresses don't usually look right on me. Because I'm bigger here, instead of here, um, if it fits up here, it tends to be a little tight here. So that's why like A-line things work really well for me. Empire waist works really well for me. Um, princess seamed kind of like straight herb, but still a little flared. Uh, things look good on me. Drop waist doesn't usually look good because usually it gets hung up on my biggest part and it doesn't flow the way it should. But um, here's from the side. This. I feel like it does. It doesn't get hung up on my belly or my butt. It actually just goes down. So pleasantly surprised. It's a cute color. It's like a dusty pink, um, kind of a bubblegum pink. It's a little bit heathered almost. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's, it's just been like the material. Oh, you know what this looks like? It looks like a mineral wash. Um, so I think that's what is happening here is that it's a mineral wash and so it like kind of distresses the fabric a little bit. Um, it gives it not a completely just like solid color appearance. Anyway, it's very cute. The sleeves are cute. They're, this is the one con for me is that the sleeves are too long and because of that, it doesn't look, I think the way it's supposed to. So you can see here they're gathered into this cuff. Very cute, balloon sleeves, very trendy right now. Um, and it's something that I really enjoy, so that's great. Um, but, so if it were the right length, it would hang and you would like see the gather, see the cuff. But because my arms are short, it does this. Which like, it, it like weirdly just pools. Or like, look, it got like caught up on the side. It's not the cutest. If my, if my arms were longer, the sleeves could hang how they're supposed to be, and then it looks right. But uh, my arms aren't longer, <laughs> and so I don't know. It's a drawback for sure for me with this, um, this dress, but I really like it. I mean, I would say this is more like tunic length or like a mini dress. Um, but I always wear bike shorts, so I think it looks cute with my bike shorts, so I don't really have a problem with that. Um, but if you're not a person who wears bike shorts all the time, know that this is probably going to be pretty short on you. And I'm not a tall person, so if it's this short on me, like if you're tall, it is for sure going to be a tunic length garment on you. Um, for sizing, I would say that it is true to size. I would call this a 28, like a true 28 
Um, and it's a 4X, so that's good. You know, sometimes sizes, they say it's a 4X, but if it's more like a small 26, you know? And so if you're like on the more 28 side of 4X, it can be a little tight. And that's true for every size, you know, 1X, 2X, 3X, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm a little torn. I think it's so cute. Like I feel really cute in it, um, but I don't love how the sleeves hang. Let's see how it is. Knowing me and my hot arms that I always talk about, it would end up here a lot. Is this cute or is this gross looking? Let's see. It's not cute. Well, that's okay. So it kind of turns into like a three quarter <laughs> length sleeve. Um, I don't know, I'm on the fence. We'll see how the rest of the box goes. I can see myself keeping this for sure, even if I eventually um, shorten the sleeves, because I can just regather and attach the cuff, you know, a little bit higher. I know how to do that. Um, so I could do that, or I could honestly like chop it much shorter if I wanted to, it just depends. Um, how much is it to start with? How much do I love other things that I'm gonna try on? So um, here's this. I feel pleased with how cute it makes me feel. And I think that I would definitely wear this for sure. This is totally a garment that I would wear. It's very comfortable. I could go out in it. Um, I could lounge in it. Um, so yeah, let's move on. More dresses. Hi, I'm hiding it from you because it's really cute. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, colors. Oh, hang tight, hanging thingies. <laughs> this is the ASMR portion. So this is from City Chic. Look, look how cute this is. Y'all know I love these floofy sleeves, especially when they're short because then they don't get in your food um, or like drape over your hands. This is from City Chic. It's a size 2X or they're 24. City Chic runs big because um, I am not a 24, but this is on my body. And um, I don't know, I love this. And I'm also like, mm, but would you wear it? That's where I am. First of all, let me show you the whole thing. <laughs> Look how freaking cute this is. Um, so this is like pretty, for me, this is like what I would wear to like go out, like go to a party or something like that. It feels like I'm a little dressed up, but like in a fun way. Um, you know, I wear like bike shorts and tank tops all the time. Um, like that, the caftan that I was wearing is like my, my glamorous, like <laughs> whatever. I am a, I am a lady who loves comfort, uh, and stretchy materials. So this dress is not stretchy and, um, it does have a stretchy liner because this, uh, chiffon style material over top, um, is sheer. And I love sheer clothing, uh, but this is lined, except I think, yeah, the sleeves are not, so you can kind of get a little, a little maybe light in through there. It's nice and lightweight. It comes with this belt that you can see, it's got an elastic and then a metal front piece. And if you know me, you know I don't like belts, but it's hitting me at my natural waist um, where I don't mind a little bit of something but also it's not tight at all like I don't know if you see like it just moves around like how easily it's not tight at all and it's very stretchy like it can stretch way more so of all the belts that I could wear I could deal with this one because of where it's located and how stretchy ow, that kind of hurt how stretchy this elastic is um okay the dress it has a faux wrap so what is that, a surplus neckline? My pink bra is actually working really well here, but if you didn't have the bra on, it comes down like, like that. Ooh la la. Um, I keep thinking these are pockets. These are not pockets, it's just a drape of the material. I really wish that they were pockets because I keep trying to put my hands in them. I love the way that this drapes. Actually, the caftan that I was wearing um, because I got it so oversized, it actually kind of does a little drape like this, which I love and is why I got it in the 3X in Universal Standard and 3X is, I, oh, I think it's their 34, 
maybe 32, 34, I'm not sure. Um, but I, when I, I had tried it on and I loved how it made that same draping effect. So I am partial to this and then it kind of narrows in at the bottom. Let me tell you, the bottom, the hemline of this barely <laughs> made it past my belly and butt because it's smaller than up here. Um, I was like, uh oh, I don't know if this is going to go on my body. Um, here's from the side so that you can see. I'm looking in the mirror. It's so cute. I mean, I think this looks great on me. I feel very cute in it. Here's from the back. It's short. Um, it's like basically the length of my bike shorts. So, uh, I don't mind that. But if you're a person who also wears like anti chub rub shorts and doesn't want them to be seen, uh, you might want to pair this with tights. Um, that might be a way to get that inner thigh protection, but not like have some bike shorts um, or whatever kind of shorts sticking out. Uh, you could wear this with like full length leggings if you wanted to, especially if it's cold where you live and you want to wear it out anyway. Um, oh, I could see this with like tights and booties or leggings and booties, I think would be very cute. So that would be a way to kind of get around that. Um, if you're tall, this is going to be very short on you because it's above the knee on me and I'm short. Or I'm not short, I'm like, whatever, probably average height. Anyway, but my legs are very short, so things always are kind of long on me. I feel like I'm rambling. Um, the cons are, I feel, because it's a little tighter around here, I'm like very aware of it. And so I don't know if I would just get used to it and forget about it. Like I definitely like notice that I'm wearing this dress. Do you know what I mean? Like. Sometimes in outfits, you kind of forget like that you're wearing clothes or what clothes you're wearing, but I feel very aware of this here. Um, ooh, I wonder, ooh, I'm gonna sit down. We're bringing back the chair. <laughs> Let's see. I'm a little concerned now that I think about it. All right, you wanna take bets on whether this is gonna fit or not? I'm nervous. Just sit, just sit down. Well, it definitely, again, like the white shirt takes up the space. Um, I don't feel like I'm, I'm not like stressing the seams. Uh, I can feel that they're, I mean, it's taut, but not overly taut. You know what I mean? I don't feel like I'm gonna pop a seam. Um, I'm really surprised. I will say, again, I'm very aware that I'm wearing it. I wonder if I pull that up. So that's better. It was like holding my knees together. But then I'm like out in public sitting like this, which is like bike shorts out, my dress like halfway up my thighs. <laughs> I mean, maybe if you're like eating dinner, it wouldn't be a big deal. But if you were like doing something, um, I don't know if this is the look like as a seated. <laughs> um, if you wore with leggings, I don't think it would be such a big deal. I just think like with the shorts, maybe <laughs> it's not so cute. Um, with tights, maybe not a problem. Um, I'm just trying to talk through all the things that I would think about. Because I really like this a lot. I love the colors. I love how it looks on me. I love the shape of it. I love the sleeves. I'm just having the whole, am I really going to wear this moment. Oh my god, these are not pockets. Y'all, I really need these to be pockets. Um, I don't know. I feel like y'all are going to be mad at me if I don't keep this because it looks so cute. And people always are mad at me when I don't keep the things that cinches in my, that like pull in my waist. Cause you're like, oh, it looks so good. Um, everybody always wants me to keep those. Anyway, oh, I don't know, let's keep going because, and also I know what's coming up and it makes me like question like, what am I really truly gonna wear? Because like, as cute as this is, I'm gonna look in the mirror. You can look at me from the side. As cute as this is, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna show you an accessory that they sent because it goes really well with this dress. And I'm realizing now that that's probably why they sent it. Hold on, one second. Okay. Also, my lipstick and bra were a great choice today. I didn't even do it on purpose. So here are the accessories that I wanna show you. One is a pair of earrings from Stella and Ruby. And I can see the price on the back and it is too much for what this is. But um, I thought I would show it to you. I think she probably meant this as a whole outfit. So it's these earrings, they're red and pink, big dangle, gemstone-y earrings, 
cute cute I don't think that I would wear these but they're definitely cute I mean I love 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 red and pink together like I really love it um they're not me I mean it's not that I would never wear these they're not so not me but I just this is not the kind of jewelry that I'm wearing uh lately but they would look cute I think and then the other accessory is a very expensive handbag look how cute um, so this is from Coach. It's this really cute uh, pink leather and with gold details. It's got all this. And then can you see it looks like a little flower shape. I don't want to unwrap all this. I know I'm not going to keep it and I want to protect the bag. I don't want it to get messed up. Um, so I'm not going to unwrap the strap, but it's chain and then like a leather part. Um, but I did remove some of the wrapping so that I could show you inside. Look cute, like burgundy. <laughs> I think that was like the dust cover maybe I don't know anyway here's the inside just a cute like super tiny little bag very cute like look oh hi I don't know why that's the voice anyway or like you know with the shoulder shot super cute um I do like this bag um I do not need an expensive tiny pink bag but if you do it looks nice go for it okay let's move on but um tell me in the comments are you gonna die if I don't keep this dress it's so cute I wish that I were just like super rich and then I could keep things that um, maybe if I don't wear them it's okay but I'm trying so hard y'all I'm trying so hard to only keep things that like really make me excited and that I think I'm gonna wear. Because there's a lot of things that make me excited, but then I don't think I would actually wear them. And I'm wondering if this is that. Moving on. Hi. Here is the first of our two repeat items. Can you, if you know, do you already know what this is? <laughs> Can you tell if you watch all my videos, you'll probably maybe know. At what point do you realize the Leith sweater dress. <laughs> I think like last month or the month before maybe. I don't know when I got this but um y'all were mad or not mad. Y'all were upset that I did not keep this dress and um here it is again. Ta-da! So in case you haven't seen this before this is also from Leith just like that little sweater and it's the same. It's a really similar knit. Um, obviously the color is different but the the weight of it, it's a lightweight knit. Um, it's really, really soft. And um, it feels like a dream. That See, here's the thing, like, I would forget that I was wearing this. That City Chic dress, I think I would be very aware that I was wearing it. This, I would be like, am I even wearing clothes? I don't know. So let's talk about it. It has a faux wrap neckline. And this one is a little different because instead of being uh, attached, this is a weirdo, like piece that just sits over like this so that's not attached which I don't really understand why but whatever I mean it doesn't make it like not cute to me I just don't understand why they didn't just attach it um unless they didn't want to have a seam across because see in the back it's all one piece here so maybe that's why I don't know maybe there's a reason um long sleeve uh super stretchy again it's gonna fit your arms Oh my God, I love it. Um, so it's pretty bodycon, but this knit is gonna stretch out. So who knows what size it's gonna be by the time you finish wearing this. Here's from the front. I feel so cute in it, just like last time. Um, oh, I really like this. This is why I was judging that city chic dress so harshly, because I'm like, I knew this was in there and I knew that I was gonna put it on and love it again. So here's from the side. You can see it definitely like, hugs the curve of the body. It's not like other bodycon dresses where it's like, <sighs> like super tight, sucking you in, holding you in. This is a dress that doesn't hold you in. It just is gonna conform to your shape. However, this is gonna stretch out over time. I, so I, I don't know what it's gonna end up looking like, like after wearing it for an hour or two or a whole day. 
I really have no, I have no idea what shape this is going to end up as, which is a little scary because like what if it's not cute as it stretches? I've had that before. Oh, here's from the back. So you can see how it looks on your butt or how it looks on my butt. Um, yeah. I like the length that it is like right under the knee. Very cute. If you're taller, this would actually be good for you. If you're not looking for a super short uh, hemline, this would be great because if it's under the knee for me, it's probably like at the knee or a little above the knee for you, depending on how, uh, how long those legs are. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what to say. I like it. It's great. I'm going to look in the mirror. I mean, I think it looks nice on me. Like, I think it looks great on me. Um, I think that you could dress it up, dress it down, all the things. You could um, put on heels. You could put on big boots, like stompy combat boots. I think would look really cute styled with this. Um, little jean jacket over it, or like a big, a big, I was picturing like a, like a furry, a furry coat or something going over it. Anyway, it's so cute. Oh, you want to take bets on if I end up taking this, keeping this? So far, it's feeling like a winner. Um, I want to come back and show you the other repeat item. Hold on. Look what it is. Look what it is. This is so funny that they include it. First of all, I'm layering a sweater over a sweater, and it is not cold outside. So this is not going to last a long time. I'm already hot. But I just wanted to pop this on and show you. It's the Buffalo Check sweater from BP in a size 4X. I got this a few months ago. I loved it, but I was like, oh, I don't need it. I'm not going to keep it. But I kept thinking about it. And like at least once a week, I would check the Nordstrom website to see if it was on sale. And the straight size version would be on sale, but the plus size version would never be on sale. And I would be like, oh, just put it on sale so I can buy this thing and stop thinking about it. Um, and, then it and then months later, like three months later, it went on sale. And I was like, yes, please. And so I snapped it up. I posted in the YouTube community tab, like, yo, the sweater's on sale. Like if you, if you were had your eye on it, like go get it. Cause it was originally 65. It was on sale for 30. And I was like, uh, heck yeah, I want that. And so I got it and I've worn it a bunch of times since then. I love it so much. I'm glad I bought it. And then they included it in the trunk. They're like, Oh, you said you would want to get this again and it's on sale. So here you go. And I was like, Oh, I feel bad. Like I already bought it. <laughs> I beat you to it. So here it is again. Um, having like having owned this now for um I don't know however long it's been a few weeks and having worn it like four to five times already and it's not even like cold outside really for Houston um or here in Houston get it if you like this and they have it in your size get it it's on sale it's great it's soft it's like lightweight but warm it's so cozy it looks cute with like everything oh my god I'm obsessed like I really love this so much um, I absolutely would buy it now if I hadn't already purchased it. So just letting you know, I love it so much. Okay. I'm so hot. I gotta take this off. Um, so now I have accessories to show you one second. <laughs> My hair gets progressively bigger and wilder. All right. So here it's accessory time. The first thing is this pair of earrings. Oh, little star, or a, uh, yeah, little star, little moon from Estella Bartlett. They're cute. I threw these in in the after uh, part at checkout just to get them. I like little, I like little earrings. <laughs> okay, the next thing is also something that I chose, and it is this really cute pink beanie. This is from Trouvé. I don't know this brand. It actually has a price tag on it. It's $19. Y'all, don't judge me. I bit off all my nails. I was really stressed out <laughs> last night. And I bit off all my nails. Like, bad. Like, really low. I haven't done this in a long time. And the, I wasn't even stressed about, it, like, any one particular thing. I just, like, it's... I started one, and then it's, like... I can't only do one. I have to do all of them. Anyway, whatever. I usually have cute nails, but I don't right now. So, um, this is just a like, cute little hot pink beanie. It's very stretchy. I have put it on. I mean, my hair is like this right now, so I don't know how good this is going to be. Let me put this tag inside. We're going to try going over my 
puff ball that I already have is gonna look so funny. <laughs> okay, don't look at that. Just look at like here. I'm really into it actually. I don't know, I'm thinking about keeping this thing. Obviously, I wouldn't wear it like that. It does push my bangs down. I haven't had a beanie with bangs in a long time. Is this cute? Disregard, look. Is this a look? Hi. <laughs> Disregard the puff ball on top of my head. Um, look how pink I am, like with my, my bra. I'm very pink in this moment, anyway. Um, here's this. Ta-da. Okay, how bad is my hair gonna be? <laughs> okay, and then the last item is this pair of shoes. Ooh la la. So these are from Sam Edelman, which means that they're going to be hella expensive. Um, they are in a wide size. Thank you for listening and sending me a wide size. Nine and a half wide. Da, da, da. They're calf hair, dyed in leopard print. Got these cute little bows. I have to say, they're a little... They're cute. They, I don't know. On me, I feel like they're like too nice or too fancy feeling for me. Um, and honestly, on the inside, you can see it has this, I don't know, hold on, let me put one down. Can you see around the edge of the insole, there's like a little, oh, I forgot what you call that. Oh, I know the name for that. Anyway, a scalloped edge, but that's not the word I was looking for. And it, um, it's actually like uncomfortable on your foot. So inside, there were a few places where I was like, ew, if I wore this, it would like, I feel like it would like rub. It's like rough. Anyway, they're nice. They felt a little like I should be going to a luncheon when I was wearing them. Like I need to be wearing like um, a skirt suit and going to a lunch in these shoes. Not, not that I don't like them, <laughs> but I don't think they're right for me. Um, I actually really want to get a new, a pair of um, leopard flats because I've had some, I've had many pairs of leopard flats in the past and I love them. I think that leopard print is a neutral. Um, I think that they look great with all kinds of things. I like to mix patterns and stuff, but um, I've really been enjoying my Rothy's and so I plan on getting a pair of Rothy's in one of their leopard prints. But this is very nice. Um, it's very nice, it's not for me. All right, are you ready for prices? I happen to be right here with the prices. So let's open it up. So when it comes, they also give you a return mailing label and some really good pieces of tape to close the box. Okay. Hi, Laura. My name is Megan. Oh, with an, with an H. Uh, one of my longest, longest, oldest friends is Megan with an H. <laughs> hi, uh, hi Laura, my name is Megan, and I had so much fun adding some new items to your trunk, exclamation point. I added a couple dress options for you along with some great winter refresh items. Oh, and I also added that check sweater because I saw that you wanted to see it again, exclamation point. I love Megan already. Don't be afraid to try new things. You may find a new style you absolutely love. Don't forget to give us your feedback, blah, 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 blah. Happy holidays, okay. I'm going to um, go check the website real quick and see if anything is on sale because this um, sometimes stuff goes on sale after they print these. So um, BRB. Got it. Okay. Stuff was on sale. This is very exciting. So the Jilly Flat from Sam Edelman, um, it was already on sale. So it started full price is $140. It was on sale for $98. I'm just rounding up. Um, and it's on sale for $55.98. So, dude, if you like those shoes, you should get them. That's a really good price. Um, the Coach Parker Rivets shoulder bag, bag was originally $2.95. It's on sale for $147.50. So, listen, if you were looking for a bag like that, let's, like, really good. Let's, like, half price. Um, the Caslon embroidered yoke top was 59 it was on sale for 35 so it, my price here says 35 um but i saw in there it was originally 59 and now it's on sale for 23.97 if i thought i would wear that i would keep it what a good price um the bp buffalo check cardigan is still on sale for 39 dollars. snap it up y'all that's great it's worth every penny it's so good the cuff beanie 19 dollars. the leith 
wrap sweater in that beautiful rusty brown color um, was already on sale. It's on sale more. So it started at $49. It's listed here for $29.40. It's on sale $22.05. Y'all. Just saying. Um, and that's the one that runs really big. I'm going to see if they have a 2X. I'm thinking about keeping it. If they have a 2X, I might exchange it um, and get the sale price. 22 bucks. And it's so cute and so soft. Um, we'll see. If they have a 2X or a 3X, I might do it. All right, the Leith Charcoal Wrap It Up Long Sleeve Sweater Dress, $69. That's regular price. Bummer. <laughs> I wish that one was on sale. The BP Drop Waist Long Sleeve Baby Doll Dress, $49. The Estella Bartlett um, Star and Moon Stud earrings, 25. The Stella and Ruby Luna Drop earrings uh, were 58. They're on sale for 34.80. I don't need them, but that's good. Um, they seem like like I touched them. Like they seem like nice quality. 35 bucks, I would pay that. Um, the onesie boyfriend sweatshirt. Guess. I'm not gonna say anything. I want you to guess how much that sweatshirt is. Remember. It's like a weird polyester fabric. It's a one size. That first thing I tried on. I want you to guess. Please comment. Please comment. Tell me how much you think that sweatshirt is. I'm going to wait. Are you doing it? <laughs> Are you literally commenting? Please. Please make my day and comment how much. You ready? Are you finished commenting yet? The boyfriend sweatshirt from onesie. <laughs> it's seventy nine dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> like I literally can't say that without laughing. Seventy nine dollars. Eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Jeez, please don't buy it. Please don't buy that sweatshirt. It's awful. It's not worth eighty dollars. It's actually not awful, but the material is weird. <sighs> <laughs> I'm so tickled by that. Okay, City Chic, the, there's this gnat in here. Um, the Vixen floral print dress that I really liked. This makes the decision for me. $89. Um, no thanks, I'll wait for it to go on sale. If this had been $50 or under, I would be really tempted. So we'll just have to wait for a City Chic sale or a Nordstrom sale or something. Y'all, I'm going to keep that Leith dress, the sweater dress. I think that the fact that I got sent it again was the universe telling me, Laura Burns, you need to have this dress. It's comfortable. It looks great. Um, I don't have anything like it. I'm keeping it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And I'm going to check on the Leith, the other Leith piece, that um, faux wrap sweater, and see if they have it in a 2X or 3X. Um, 20, 2205. Oh, oh, but the Leith dress is like expensive, so 69. Let me just check and see. I'll put on the screen, I'll tell you what I end up doing. But um, it's a possibility in this moment. But if nothing else, I'm keeping that other dress because I really like it. Um, I have the money, I wish it was on sale, but I do have the money to pay the regular price right now. And I felt so good wearing it. And I think that I actually would wear that as opposed to the City Chic dress where I would want to wear it. I would want to want to wear it, but I don't know if I would reach for it. Okay, so who knows what happens now? Now is the time where you comment. This is clickety-clackety. You comment and you say, what would you keep if you were me? What would you keep if you were you? And then anything else that you want to say. If you didn't check in in the beginning about how your new year is going and you feel so called to do so now, please let us know. How are you? How is 2021? How are you doing? Um, yeah, what's going on for you? Uh, what do you need right now? What do you need right now? Oh, what a question. What do I need right now? I need spaciousness. I need space and time. I have a lot of thoughts and plans that I'm making right now, um, stuff with my business, um, projects with the house that I want to do. I feel like I have so much going on, but I'm so busy, like having to get other stuff done. I think that's what I need right now is some space to just like be able to leisurely think through things. Yeah. Yes, that's what I need. What do you need? I would love to hear. Thanks for um, 
listening to me talk through stuff <laughs> with myself. Um, okay. I really enjoy this. This is very fun. Thanks for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm trying to come back to YouTube a little bit more. Um, so like this video if you liked it. Encourage me. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. I'm getting close to... 5,000 subscribers and I would really like to meet that goal sometime soon. That would feel like really exciting and like inspiring to me to like come back more to YouTube. So if you watch my videos and you aren't subscribed, could you pretty please subscribe um, and like, like think of your subscription as like a, a high five to me. And I need a lot of high fives <laughs> to like come back. Ugh. You know, spaciousness, right? I need time and stuff, but I'm feeling really called to like make more videos. Um, update, if you've been around a long time, you may know that I uh, was gonna redo my bathroom. Not like renovate, renovate, but like redecorate. And it's actually happening. It was supposed to happen in September and it didn't, but it's happening now. I was supposed to have it done by the end of the year and I didn't, but it's happening now. I'm getting very close to being done. Very close to being done. So I filmed a little walkthrough before. I will film a big walkthrough afterwards and talk about the process. Um, so yeah, so that's coming up in a video soon, as soon as I finish it. <laughs> I'll film that video. Anyway, I'm dragging out this uh, conclusion to this video for a very long time, so let me just say, thank you very much for being here. I really enjoy our community here. I um, really appreciate your energy and your presence and your support, and <sighs> I hope that you are feeling loved and supported in your life, but if you are not, please know that I genuinely am sending you love and support right at this very moment whenever you watch this I'm sending it to you I swear um I hope that you have a really good rest of your day and I'll see you next time bye thank you so much to the supporters who make it possible to create this content and if you enjoyed this video please consider joining patreon where for just two dollars a month you get access to our private facebook group where I post behind the scenes videos first looks at boxes and products I'm trying, and weekly live chats where we talk about literally anything. Your support means so much to me. Thank you for bringing your particular flavor of weirdo to our world of kind, compassionate folks. All the links will be in the description box below.